Hello, I'm Susan Hogan from the Staten Island Museum, and this is Super Science. Today, we are going to investigate the hide and seek of animal camouflage. There are four main types of camouflage that animals use. Blending is when the colors of an animal's body match its surroundings. Do you see something hiding in this picture? Some animals use camouflage to hide from their predators, while others use it to go unnoticed as they search for food for their dinner. We saw color blending in the picture of the katydid. The insect's green body blended in with the green basil leaves in my garden. Disguise is another example of camouflage. An animal hides in plain sight by looking like an object in its surroundings. The katydid in the picture appeared to be just another leaf on the basil plant. The third type of camouflage is pattern. This is when the animal's stripes, spots, and color markings make the outline of the animal hard to see. And finally, mimicry. This is when an animal's looks or behavior imitate that of a harmful or distasteful animal. This will make the predators stay away. The monarch butterfly on the left exists on a diet of milkweed plants that are poisonous to birds and other animals. The viceroy butterfly on the right has evolved with colors that mimic or copy the monarch colors to confuse predators and protect themselves. It's time to investigate the science behind animal camouflage with a few fun activities that you can try at home with your family. The first activity is an easy paper trick to introduce the concept of camouflage. You will need three pieces of different colored construction paper, a hole punch, and a pair of scissors. Cut an inch strip off the end of one of the pieces of paper. I'm gonna lay this larger piece of paper right down on my work surface. Use the hole punch to punch out about 20 holes right on to your paper. Do the same thing with the remaining sheets of paper. Now you will have 15 seconds to pick up as many dots as you can. As you pick them up, put them in a pile. Move as quickly as you can. After the 15 seconds is up, sort the dots you picked up into different colored piles and count them. Things to consider. You might notice that you didn't pick up any dots that were the same color as the paper they were sitting on. That's because of camouflage. Our eyes are usually drawn to contrasting colors. Those dots are blending into the background. Try this experiment several more times. Were there any changes in the outcome? Record your data and observations in a science journal or notebook. The second activity is a real disappearing act. Some animals blend in with their surroundings so well that they're nearly impossible to see. Only when the animals move can you detect their presence and shape. For this activity, you will need two pieces of paper with a dense repeating pattern. You can use scrapbook paper, or wrapping paper, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. On the back side of one piece of paper, draw an animal. I've drawn my animal here. Now I'm gonna cut out my animal shape. And I'm leaving a long strip at the bottom for a handle. The second piece of paper will act as the background or habitat for the animal. Place the animal on the background. What do you see? What do you notice? Can you see the animal? It should be very difficult to detect the shape of the animal that I drew and cut out. What happens when I use the handle to move the animal? What do you see now? When I move the animal, it is much easier to see. Even the most effective camouflage can fail if a hidden animal suddenly moves and catches a predator's eye. Try this activity with different kinds of patterned paper. Do some patterns work better at camouflage than others? The next time you go exploring in the park, look closely and you might find animals in the wild hiding in plain sight.
I hope you had fun learning about animal camouflage. Thank you for watching Super Science with the Staten Island Museum.